There are a lot of different types of capacitors out there, and no shortage of variables to consider when picking one out. For example, ceramic, the very classic and most common capacitor. Ceramics are non-polarized, cheap to produce, and available in values from picofarads up to about 10 microfarads, and occasionally 100 microfarads, but they get pretty pricey at that point. Ceramics are great for high-frequency filtering and decoupling. Electrolytic capacitors can have massive values, and they're super cheap. They're often polarized, so they must be connected correctly, and their capacitance is most effective at signals below 100 kHz. On top of that preference for low frequency, they can also dry out over time and malfunction. Good to know.